This is Suzanne. Hubba hubba. Now that's a woman. Plenty of smarts, easy on the eyes, and can quote my stats. I don't care if she got a hundred kids. I like her. All we gotta do is lose the small fries. Now I'm not saying drop them in the shark tank, nah. But there's nothing kids like more than military school. Out of sight, out of mind. Excuse me? Oh, <laughs> I don't mind. You know, if you need a lift, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> oh, okay. Smooth, thick. Here's how I think that we're gonna make our move. First, you lean over and pretend like you're gonna help her with a seatbelt. Then with your free hand, put your arm around her shoulder and... Hey! Let me out! How am I gonna wave you home if I can't see the play? I'm a Hall of Famer. How about showing a little respect? <laughs> and that's my story. So what about you, Nick? Are you local? Black man from Oregon? Right. <laughs> nah, I'm from St. Louis. Oh. I actually moved out here to play AAA ball with the Beavers, but uh, ended up hurting my shoulder and kind of ended my career. Oh, you threw your arm out pitching. Well, not exactly. Uh, I tore my rotator cuff lifting my big screen TV out of a U-Haul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sad. I know. Good thing they got athletes insurance in case you do something stupid. So, uh, you know, I was wondering if maybe you'd consider if you wasn't busy. What is going on out here? Mom, where have you been? Miss Mabel burned our dinner, fell asleep, and just keeps farting. <laughs> Kevin and Lindsay, this is Mr. Persons. He was nice enough to give me a ride home. <laughs> What's he want? A reward? You know what? I really better get out of here. Smart. <sighs> hey, Nick. I don't mean to be a pest, but I was just wondering if you could give me a ride to work tomorrow. <laughs> of course. Oh, great. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Mom, where have you been? Do you know what time it is? Excuse me, I'm the mother. Where's Get in the, the house. house. Get in the house. Don't you have enough money? Get in the house. You guys are so rude. You're supposed to be a I never met a girl who makes me feel the way that you do. You're all right. Whenever I'm asked who makes my dream feel, I say that you do. You're all Thank you so much for helping me these past couple days. You were so sweet. Yeah, I know. Hey, does this seem ripe to you? I don't know. I don't need food unless it has an expiration date on it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you are funny. You eat worse than my seven-year-old son. You kind of dress like him, too. What's wrong with that? And do you know I have never seen you without a hat? You don't need to see me without my hat. Oh, come on, Nick. Let me see. What do you have under there? What you mean? Come on, Nick. Watch out, girl. Get back. Hold on. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> Give me that. Ow! Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Hang on. Don't move. There. Nick, wait. Right. Want to go to my apartment? No, I can't. I can't. I've, I've thought about it. I really have. But let's be realistic. I'm a single mom. No. You're a sexy mom. Do you know, this whole time we've been hanging out, you've never once asked me about my kids. 
How they doing? I bet you don't even remember their names. Rudy and Theo? <laughs> Nick. I think we should just be friends.